Now that all the big AIs have memory, let's compare ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude because they do all work quite differently and it's really good to understand those differences and how to get the best out of them. So ChatGPT has the clearest system and this all works, by the way, on both paid and free accounts. Now, it actually has two types of memory. Firstly, you've got saved memories where you ask it to remember certain facts and it will and they live in personalization memory and you can go and view and delete those anytime. Now, it does sometimes remember quite quite random things about you, so you do want to go and prune that on a fairly regular basis. And then there's general memory where it remembers all the past conversations you've had, and you can ask it about those, but you'll also notice that when you ask it anything, you can tell that it's sometimes using that knowledge of you in its answers. And that's very useful. It feels like it's getting to know you the more you use it. Now, if you don't like that, you can turn it off in settings or use a temporary chat, which disappears as soon as you close it. And OpenAI say they only keep that data on their servers for 30 days. On top of that, ChatGPT has projects which are now available on free accounts as well and they're like little sealed off silos with their own memory and they don't remember your general chats outside of projects and your general chats will never remember things that are inside projects. So that can be really useful for compartmentalizing specific things you're working on and not having memory of those things sort of seep into your general chats. Okay, so Claude recently got updated and it works very differently. It doesn't have general memory across chats. Instead, you can just search past chats and the control is very much in your hands in that regard and that makes it feel more privacy focused but you lose the benefits of that ongoing context however two really important things to say here firstly like the other LLMs Claude has custom instructions in settings where you can tell it a bit about yourself but there is a massive difference here whereas in like ChatGPT, you can only put about 250 words in Claude, you can put absolutely vast amounts of information. Like I couldn't paste enough pages of text to even hit a limit here when I was preparing for this video. And this actually allows for a type of usage that's just not possible in other LLMs. And it's become known as the master prompt method where you basically feed it here, your entire operating procedures, like the handbook for how you work. And then in chats with just a few words, you can trigger whole workflows. Like just go off and research that at some point. It's a very interesting idea. And then secondly, general memory is coming to Claude at some point. We know that for sure, we just don't know when. Teams plans already have access. And it's this always on general memory, very similar to how ChatGPT works, so that it gets to know who you are and what you're working on. Again, like ChatGPT, Claude has projects and that memory won't leak in or out of projects, so it keeps them very compartmentalized. Another thing to mention is Claude recently added incognito chats, which as the name suggests, don't go into your chat history and they disappear when you close them. Okay, Gemini from Google has just started working much like ChatGPT, but there's no memory or personalization features on a free plan. So if you're using Gemini for free, every chat is a new one. Whereas if you're on a paid plan, you will see saved info in settings. And here you can manually add facts about yourself, your life, your work. And you can also ask while you're in a chat for it to save facts or information here. Now, they've recently been rolling out general memory across all of your chats, much like ChatGPT. I have that, and you should too, because it's been a few weeks. Like the other two, Gemini has a temporary chat feature for conversations you don't want kept in your history and that will disappear when you close them. Okay, to sum up, ChatGPT has long-term persistent memory. It gets to know you over time, and that's both free and paid plans. Claude, all you can do at the moment is search past chats, but general memory is coming. We don't know how well it will work. And then Gemini does have general memory, but it's kind of like a basic version of what you see in ChatGPT. ChatGPT definitely rules if you want an AI that you feel gets to know you over time and gets better and more tailored in its responses.